The waves are pretty steep. It's gonna be rough. We got palm trees and blue water waiting for us on the other side. Got to find a beautiful island to anchor by and camp out for a few nights. I'm Elena and this is Riley and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last six years now and recently it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. Welcome back to Falmouth Harbour, that's where we are right now. We're about to pull up the anchor just got a few boat jobs done. We're about to pull up the anchor and sail around the eastern side of the island. Um, you know, it's gonna be rough. We got palm trees and blue water waiting for us on the other side, so it's kind of worth it. And um, it's worth it. We're taking Iona, who's a young English girl. You would have seen her floating around in our last few videos. She is keen Anna. on sailing. Anna. 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 Lenny calls her. Lenny loves her, which is a part of the reason why we're taking her. And um. Yeah, got to find a beautiful island to anchor by and camp out for a few nights. Does she have someone to hold? Squirrel out in the sun. Squirrel so every time we run the engine to get in and out of harbours or a really tight anchorage, we run the water maker. wind is coming from there, we're sailing this way which is basically east, so we're tacking into the wind until we get up around um, to Green Island and the waves are pretty steep and annoying here because they've crossed the entire Atlantic Ocean. As they reach the shelf here, the underwater geography, the underwater land gets shallower, so the, the, the debt, oh my god. What Captain Imbecile was trying to say here is that waves become steeper and more aggressive as the water becomes shallower. Anyone who has ever seen someone surfing has witnessed this effect. So thank you, Captain Obvious, for your illuminative and incisive commentary. How you going, Iona? Good, yeah. Is this your second sail on a catamaran? Yeah. And how are you enjoying it? I don't know if it's more rolly or less rolly. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's nice to be sailing again. Awesome. Starting there. My niece just fallen asleep. I'm just gonna put a nappy on him. How long have you been getting seasick for? A month. First happened on the way back from Barbuda. Yeah, but he didn't get seasick, so I think he's just tired. I think I'm just scared. Like, every time he gets tired or something, I'm like, is he seasick now? But he's fine. He didn't speak. All good. Start again. Isn't this just bloody beautiful? Pretty treacherous out there. There's reef just there. And you just turn it. No, it's a turtle. No, just turtle. starboard. That's turtle. reef there. Yeah, I know. One reader. Can I give you this? It's going to tie us off onto that. Very good. And then go over there and bring me that line. <laughs> okay, now I need this. Very good. And wait there because I'm going to give it back to you. One, two, three! Oh, are you okay? Yeah. When you arrive here... 
when you arrive here in a mooring ball, you must always check it. You want to dive in, dive down, check the chain, check all of the lines. We don't want you floating off into a reef now, right? <laughs> that wasn't bad. Was it? No, it was pretty good. Should I do it again? No. <laughs> let me try let me try one more time. I'm getting in the zone. Alright, go. Now when you arrive here into a beautiful bay like this. Whoa, that's a big one. And oh my god, what is what I can see? Got my own problems to be thinking of Yo, I am lost, I don't even sweat it But trust me, I get it I'm not saying Honey, you gonna show us what you learned at swimming lesson? You gonna jump to dad? <laughs> Go on, you show mum Ready? One Two Three! <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, you were free since the day that you came. Won't you take over the world today? You can do anything that you want to do. Oh, oh. Well, it's time to see What's Lenny doing there, Alana? Trying to catch some water in his hands and bring it here, but he drops it. Look at him. Look, he thinks he's got water. You were free since the day that you came. Won't you take over the world today? You can be anything that you want to be. angry that day my friends. It's quite rough but Riley's convinced me to go hunting for lobster and I'm due for my next lobster. It's been two weeks. Oh for mercury levels. Yeah. Pro tip, because mercury rises when it's hot the lobsters in warm waters have more mercury in them than in more temperate climates and with Elena being pregnant we decided to be extra careful with her crustacean intake. Elena has kindly agreed to escort me, to escort me around the reefs I'm in the best. search of crustaceans. Lenny's on the beach with Iona over there. been nerding out for a couple of hours and uh, feeling good feeling like I got something done today and um, yeah gonna have the rest of the afternoon off gonna make some lunch first <laughs> all right what's happening another one's a victim yeah I'm showing Iona all the photos of the Pretty cool though. <laughs> Every new person we get around, Riley cannot wait <laughs> to show them and have someone else to talk to because I won't listen. Way back on the crossing with Nikki, she was the first one that got it on a night shift. <coughs> and poor old Andre's been popping it for years. <laughs> You're right. to fall apart Lose myself and give my heart away nice. Come and go in shady places mm -hmm. I used to
Some good news and some bad news. The good news is lobster. And the bad news is the outboard is flooded. I just tried to start it to go to the beach to pick up Lenny and Iona. And um, it usually starts like quite quickly, but I tried it four times and it was very obvious that it wasn't going to start, which means um, it's flooded. Riley said we have to wait a while for it to fix itself. I'm not sure because this hasn't happened to our dinghy since we got it and um, it's almost as if this boat can sense we're getting a new boat because between that today and then the water maker having something stuck in it probably we still haven't gotten to the bottom of it yet it's almost as if this boat has cracked the shits and is very unhappy with us for moving boats because the same thing happened when we moved from the Beneteau to this Ultramar things just started breaking when they never had before I'm sure they have personalities. They can sense it. What are you doing? Well, Alina, I'm translating a French to English desolator manual because the water maker is turning on but not doing anything and then turning itself off. If I can fix this, which if history is anything to go by, I won't be able to, then we can stay here. If not, we're going to go back. We have to go back at some point anyway, but this will buy us an extra few days. It could just be broken from when I pulled it out and took it into the shop to get worked on. Like I know something. I damaged a little thing, but I, this seems to be different. Generally, I break something when I try and fix it. So I've just done a freshwater flush to prime the system again. Then I'll dive under the boat and look for a blockage right at the source. And then if it's not there, if it's been sucked up, then I'll have to pull some things apart and um, try and find what the problem is. George told me that there's heaps of snakes on this island. It's the rarest snake in the world. Really? The, I'm not going to see it. The something racer. No, but there's heaps here just on this oh, island. Oh, okay. Crazy, hey? Yeah. So you got hunted out of everywhere, and then apparently here, just here, it's very prevalent. Which is why I wore my thongs. Super protective choice of shoes. <laughs> well, it's not going to be like a King Brown in Australia. <laughs> That's is it? why I wore my thongs. This is the voice message that he sent me before, Elena. The Antiguan Racer is a diurnal grass snake, completely harmless, and at one point there was only 50 in the world. Will be working again. 
Well, the other day, the same thing happened. I tried to start it and flooded it, and then it was working the next day. I think that'll happen again, but we need to, probably needs to go in for a full service. To be honest, that's been a while since we've done that. We didn't manage to see any racer snakes. You wanna be in it too, Lenny? <laughs> but I did see a lot of cacti and also the asparagus looking plants, which I forget the names of, but they just look like a giant asparagus and it makes me giggle every time. What's, What's for dinner, Iona? Uh, lobster. Yeah. <laughs> lobster, rice and veggies. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Mama, mama. What you want to do is bring your hand down in a slamming motion. Good boy, Lenny. Well, I thought the rice was cool enough to stick on my wax sheet. Bad move. It's actually stuck. <laughs> oh no. Ready, Lenny? So, one, two, three. Did that leave a mark? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Whoa, big run. Raining. Maybe it's just a threat. Baby squall. You say goodnight, Dada, goodnight, Iona. Love you. What about blow kiss? You didn't blow kiss? No. That's it. <laughs>